Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. I'm Jenna Davison here with head women's volleyball coach Jeff Billington. So coach, thanks for being here today. Oh, you're welcome, Jenna. It's nice to be here. Could you tell us how preseason's going so far? The girls are tired. I'm tired. Coach Chris is tired. But uh, all in all, it's good. We've had very minimal injuries, which is, uh, I think, real important for us to get through the preseason without that. Uh, majority of them came back in pretty good shape. So I think that's, that's been a, a real positive, and that's one of the reasons why I think that we've gotten through it. But uh, they're working hard. Um, you know, the intricacies of our offense are what's taking some time, you know, just just repetition type of stuff. But all in all, they're working hard. We've done two a days, and we just started school yesterday. So they look good. Good. Um, you have a few scrimmages this preseason. How will those help you to evaluate your team's progress? Well, it's nice because uh, you want to get them in there against people uh, and opponents that they don't play against normally. I mean, after, well, we've been in the gym for about six days now, playing two days, and they're playing against each other all the time. So being able to get up against uh, uh, another opponent uh, allows them to be able to kind of show what they can do and also look at them from the standpoint of just evaluating how they handle competition. You know, um, it's uh, it's one of those things that, uh, especially with a the freshman, they don't know what to expect at this level and, and how good of a play it's going to be. So it, it's good to kind of see that, you know, from that aspect. But um, we put people in different spots, different positions, and, uh, and we'll go ahead and work things out that way. And we do a lot of film work, and then we break that down. And so it does give us an idea of what's, what we need to work on from, from that aspect. Right. Um, you're bringing in two junior college transfers with significant statistics that I've seen and time on the court. What results are you anticipating from them, and how do you think they'll fit into your team's strategy? Okay. Well, the, the one thing about having junior college players is, one, they already have a couple years of college experience. Now, at what level that is, it's kind of different because our conference is, is, is tough. It's very good in volleyball. But um, they bring a maturity level to, to the team. And, um, you know, Ashlyn's our set, one of our setters. And uh, she's got great experience in running an offense, and she's been a setter ever since she was in middle school. And uh, so we're we're in need of having another setter uh, in the program. So we're looking forward to that. She's got really quick hands. And then uh, Sarah, you know, she uh, did real well at Cape Fear Community College. Good offensive threat. She just needs to get used to the speed at our level. Okay. And uh, you brought in three freshmen. Can you tell us about how those will fit on the team? Oh, sure, absolutely. I mean, our level of practice has already improved, uh, you know, just the competition level. And uh, Lou and Hannah are both uh, six rotation kids, so they can play defense and, and attack very, very well. So we're really looking forward to having them in our three middle offense. And then uh, Leslie, uh, she's from North Carolina. She's a defensive specialist with good ball control. So we're looking to get her on the floor. All right, and can you just tell us what your expectations for the overall season are? To win. No. <laughs> we're going to have an exciting group, and we're looking forward to have our fans come out and watch us play. Uh, very dynamic, and obviously, you know, we're always uh, hoping to, to compete for a conference championship, but, you know, ultimately it's, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, and uh, I, I've got great hopes for this group of kids. Uh, they're wonderful to work with in the gym, and uh, they're very, very competitive, and they don't want to lose. All right, thank you, Coach. When we come back, we'll head to Hannah Keegan, who is interviewing head cross-country coach Gary Acock, so please stay tuned.